Hi, and welcome back to another video here on cloudwoods.net. Today, we're going to talk about a very exciting topic in the area of cloud storage, and that is how can you free up hard drive space on your computer using cloud storage? See you in this video. So this is a question a lot of you guys have, and a lot of you guys send us comments and emails here on Cloudwoods. How can you free up hard drive space, especially if it's like a very tiny laptop with a very tiny SSD uh, that is very limited in space? So some of you guys may have 128 gigabytes, some even 250 gigabytes, but even that, if you have a lot of photos, if you have a lot of videos, I mean, th that space is pretty limited and, and, and can be uh, empty quite soon. So there are a couple of solutions that you can do, and there are traditional cloud storage services that we all know, uh, Dropbox, School Drive, OneDrive. However, what most of those cloud storage services do out of the box is they synchronize files. So what they do is they connect to the cloud and they pull the files that you upload to the cloud onto the various devices that you have connected to them, meaning obviously they will take up hard drive space. Now, there are a couple of options to configure Dropbox and other popular syncing services as to not download the files. That is called selective synchronization, but it's sometimes really complicated to set up. So that's why in this video, I wanted to show you a solution that I've been using for maybe the past two years or so and that I've been recommending to people that is called Sync.com. And Sync.com is a Canada-based cloud storage services. And what they do is they focus a lot of, um, they focus a lot on security because uh, Dropbox and other uh, US-based uh, companies they unfortunately do not encrypt files before you upload them to the cloud. And Sync.com does just that. And they have also a very other, uh, another um, an enticing feature, which is called the Vault. And the Vault allows you to um, store files in the cloud only without syncing them or downloading them to your computer. So let's just hop real quick onto my computer and I'll show you exactly how it works. So here we are back um, on my computer, and as you can see, um, the uh, Sync.com software is installed right here um, at the top of the uh, of, of the Mac uh, Finder menu. And obviously, Sync.com also works uh, with Windows PCs as well. But I've, in, in this case, in this video, I'm going to use a Macintosh computer. So you can find the Sync application here and delve into the preferences. But also, as you maybe use from Dropbox or other services, you get a folder in your favorites bar that is called sync.com in this case. And all those folders that you can see here are folders that are going to be synchronized across your devices. So no matter how many devices you connect and install the sync software on, those folders that you can see here and files, they will be synced. So for example, um, I have a photo here. That photo is uh, one of my friends. And um, he uh, actually uh, needed this photo for, uh, as, a, uh, as an application photo for, for his new job. So what you can do is you can right click here and then you can share this link uh, with your friend or with anybody and uh, send the link um, to the person that, that needs it. Now, what we're going to look at now is how you can actually not synchronize files and keep them in the vault only. That is accessible via the web. So what you can do is you can click on the sync icon right at the top and you can say, okay, go to the sync.com web panel. And what it does, it, it logs you onto um, your sync.com web panel. And here you have a little more options. You can see that there is a top navigation that is called um, Vault Links Shares Events and Upgrade. And in this case, let's look at the Vault feature because that is the feature that you're going to use in order to free up hard drive space. So if you can see here, if I click on my Vault, I have a lot of um, files in here. For example, I have a folder here that's called MacBook Air and it is a backup of um, my external hard drive um, that I keep in the sync.com Vault. So um, I can access those files in here, and if I don't want to keep them in a vault anymore, I can either delete them permanently, or um, I can move um, the folder back into the files that are actually going to be synchronized on the devices. But 
uh, now I want to show you how you can move files actually in the vault to free up hard drive space. Um, so let's see, um, I want to um, go into one of my uh, folders that has large video files that take up a lot of hard drive space. Uh, and we have a folder card here, raw, and in there, there are two uh, folders with large video files. So we have one file that is 1.4 gigabytes, and then there's an audio file. So what I want to do is I want to move those files into the vault because I don't need them anymore on my computer. I've already sent those files off to my video editor so I can essentially delete it. Um, then I click on the options here and I move those files. And then I will pick the vault here. I just have to navigate to the correct folder where I want it to be. So I just, uh, no, that's, that was the wrong click. Now I'm gonna go back and here's the raw folder where I wanna move all the other, um, the other uh, folders as well. And I click move. Now when I do that, it takes a little while, but then the folder disappears and you can see two files have been deleted. Now sync.com says that those files are deleted from your computer and that is true because if, you can, if, you, if we navigate to the equivalent folder on our computer, go into the raw files, you can see there's the 041 folder is gone. It's no longer there. But of course, as we know, it is not deleted entirely from the cloud. It's just in the vault folder, saving you precious hard drive space. And that's what you can repeat with any folder, any file, and you can do that until your sync.com storage is actually uh, full. And sync.com has uh, some good pricing plans. They're one of the cheaper uh, services out there. And pricing start uh, from uh, 500 gigabytes. Let's just look at it uh, real quick. Um, if we go to uh, our comparison chart, um, which you can find on cloudwoods.net, um, comparison. On the comparison chart, you can see the, the actual pricing of, um, of the different cloud storage services. So sync.com is essentially our winner today as well. And if we go to all plans, you can see that um, they have a free version, five gigabytes. You can use the Vault feature and the five gigabytes for synchronization purposes as well. It's entirely free, never expires. And then there is the uh, Pro plan, which starts from 500 gigabytes um, for only $49 per year. And then there's a two terabyte plan uh, for $98 per year. So this is pretty affordable for quite a lot of storage and is actually cheaper than Dropbox. So I really hope you like this video, please. As always, if you liked it, give this video your thumbs up and most importantly, subscribe to this, to this channel so that you get more information on cloud storage services and how to organize your files in the cloud and other cloud apps and services as well. Hopefully we're gonna see us in my next video. Bye-bye.